here at the PCL Alverno, what we've done is, is we've really made significant changes and brought innovation into the field of microbiology. Well, microbiology is that field of laboratory medicine in which we study um, what we call microorganisms, bacteria and viruses that cause disease uh, in patients. Uh, traditionally, it's been a very uh, manual, time-intensive uh, process, and uh, what we've been able to do is bring automation to that, along with some very sophisticated identification tools that allows us to kind of speed up the identification of a microorganism. We're able to move and generate that result probably 24 to 48 hours sooner than uh, ever before. Well, the specimen is collected by uh, healthcare personnel in a doctor's office or in the hospital, and those samples come to the laboratory, and that media is going to be where the, the bacteria will grow and make colonies that we can work with. In the automated situation, the incubators uh, give an optimum environment for the bacteria. They can be growing as little as 12 to 16 hours. The next step is the actual reading of the plates. With the automation, the computer images are automatically taken at specified intervals and are made available to the text to look at on the image screen, which is much faster than sorting through the plates. We then can work on the positive plates and ignore the negative plates. From that next step is to do the identification. It takes about 15 to 20 seconds for each sample. What this does is it allows a physician to prescribe specific antibiotics for the uh, infecting agent, and this can shorten length of stay in the hospital and speed recovery of the patient. So I've been doing microbiology for 40 years, and that this technology in the last three years is just an unbelievable uh, en enhancement and advancement for microbiology. We're going to go from what we consider to be batch testing looking at it once every 24 hours to a continuous flow. When its culture is ready to be read, it will be read and read 24-7, reducing the turnaround times. I think what's most important about technology and the thing to remember, you know, or innovation for that matter, it's great to be innovative, it's great to have fabulous technology and, and all those things, but it has to have a benefit. Uh, and that benefit really in healthcare has to have something to do with the patient uh, and making that experience better, making that outcome better. So all that we do here every day is to care for patients.